we've been asked to talk about our experience with the new MT laser, new laser MT, mixed laser technology. So unlike other fractional lasers, um, this one combines two wavelengths. So if we look at demand for fractional laser, it certainly has uh, increased over time. And because we have so much social media and um, you know, image is very important to people these days. So we find that more and more people want to rejuvenate and look um, youthful. We use fractional resurfacing to target um, skin texture, sun damage, skin tightening. We also use it for scar reduction, and we, which is not up there. We also use it for tattoo removal somewhat. If we look at the different systems on the market today, Jim mentioned the Fraxol, which is a non-ablative fractional resurfacing system, as well as the fractional CO2. So we've got two quite separate systems, one that doesn't remove any tissue and one that does. So it vaporises the tissue, the ablative one. The benefits of the, the two are that one has no downtime, so the Fraxol is the non-ablative fractional resurfacer um, with very minimal downtime, but of course you need a lot of treatments before you see re comparable results to the fractional CO2. So the CO2 has more downtime, so we have benefits of a, a faster effective treatment with the CO2, but then we know that there's a lot more downtime, so you know, seven, ten days. The market's increasing so that we actually want to have the result without the excessive downtime. So we do find mixing the technology gives us that um, option. Um, so we know that fractional technology has revolutionised the industry, so we know that the full fractional resurfacing, as this sort of shows you, removes that whole epidermis and part of the dermis. So that was downtime of 10 days at least um, with, you know, Vaseline as dressing. The superficial fractional ablative resurfacing um, is showing you the, that it can do it superficially as well as sort of more deeply to remove deeper sort of wrinkles. Again, you know, that's going to only treat the epidermis and doesn't do very much to the dermal area where we want to boost collagen, um, whereas this one's got a lot of downtime. This is showing you the non-ablative fractional resurfacing, so the 1540 uh, or the Fraxel. When we combine the two together, we've, we've got the U-Laser MT. So we do basically in, a, in the fractional sort of uh, method, come down either sequentially or simultaneously with the two wavelengths. So Tanya and I have been using um, the sequential method for about 10 months. So we use the 1540 first and then the CO2 over the top. So we get the depth of um, uh, tightening and coagulation and then we have the uh, surface ablative zones as well. So that we change the surface of the skin, people see a result quite quickly with that. But of course then we wait for collagen to build and the tightening to happen. Um, of course there is changes in the pigmentation as well as um, vascularity in the skin over time as well. We don't feel limited with this laser because if we do choose to do something quite um, invasive we have that option. Um, or we can do something quite non-ablative and, and very minimal downtime as well. The pigment? <laughs> it's, well, we know it doesn't target the pigment, but it certainly um, causes that repair mechanism in the skin. So over time, it will actually lighten that, that pigmentation as well. 
So not just the surface ablation that will change it, it's the deeper one as well. So here it, oops, sorry. So here it's basically showing you what the uh, CO2 would be looking like and the deeper um, coagulation of the 1540. So we have the changes in the uh, dermal area. So without using a whole ablation, um, you know, a column that ablates deeply. So you, we're actually sparing that. Still getting changes in the dermis and then surface changes as well. So we find that most of our clients um, quite like this because they don't have as much downtime, but they see some quick changes and then they see the tightening and um, surface change down the track. That's what it looks like there. So <coughs> with a scanner, so it lays down so many spots that can be um, adapted to what we're trying to treat, whether it's scars or deep lines, um, pigmentation and so forth. So we use it for, of course, rejuvenation, lines, so fine lines, uh, pigmentation from sun damage, melasma, um, has shown some good changes with that. Of course, it's a chronic condition, so we never clear it completely. Um, tightening, there are some tightening aspects to the treatment. Scar reduction, we've had some really positive changes in scars. Um, Vascular concerns, I do have a few rosacea patients that I've actually been treating and finding it really, really um, effective. Tattoo removal, of course, using Q-switch laser. So we're actually doing the um, fractional resurfacing as well as the Q-switch to remove the tattoos a lot faster. So this is what it, they look like pretty much straight after if we're just doing with the one pass. Um, patients say that um, they really love the results and there's not much downtime. Uh, of course, there's some patients that we do crank it up a little bit for some of the deeper lines. But overall, there is just very mild um, puffiness and some redness for a few days. We do get some tightening and pore reduction um, over over time as well. So initially you will get um, basically collagen changing in the skin so there's um, uh, the denaturing of collagen initially so it will shrink and give you that tightening effect pretty much immediately. However, we're waiting for that collagen to be stimulated and of course then the remodeling happens down the track. So generally from about six weeks onwards, we see the changes in that. These are some of the early photos that we, we took. Um, some good changes in, in pigmentation, just lines in general. However, that's, that's the patient's own photo. This is um, some skin resurfacing that I did fairly recently. So she's actually gone on and had another one since then. So we can see that there has been some tightening, but also she's had acne in the past. So we've got some improvement in the acne um, scars as well as the texture. Um, a lot of her, actually now, a lot of her redness is reduced as well because she is, has a bit of rosacea as well. So she's very happy. She told me that her husband actually looked across to her the other night and said, wow, you're looking so much younger. <laughs> this is um, a scar reduction case that we um, started treating earlier last year. Uh, we first um, treated with a vascular laser and some fractional um, radio frequency, but not much sort of change. We still had this sort of scar left. So we basically went on to the MT laser and as soon as we used that it was just like a miracle. Yep. So we've done a couple of treatments and we're just waiting now for it 
you know, a few months and, and see what it's doing. And pigmentation. So try to choose photos that were similar in colour but sometimes were not very consistent. But you can actually see that the pigmentation's actually improved. Uh, generally, she's had another treatment since then as well um, for fine lines and tightening and very, very happy. So that's really where we're at um, 11 months down the track. Um, everyone's very happy. They, you know, look for, you know, to do it and look forward to doing the second and third treatments. So we'll let you know next year how we're going. And that's all. Any questions about that? So generally, um, there's no true downtime unless we're really ablating deeply. So generally, most people will just be a bit red. That evening, they would probably not put on any makeup, um, feel a bit warm that night, a bit puffy. Some people have had a bit like a histamine re response and they do swell. That's quite an individual response, we find, but the majority are just a bit puffy. Happy to put makeup on the next day and do what they normally do. Otherwise, some people like to just take the weekend off and you know just see how they are if they're a bit concerned about the way they look. So they'll look a little bit sunburnt for a few days. I mean, the erythema it is depend on how fine line or or deeper oh, that's scar. Right, yeah. so, so when we deeper scar, we start talking about coagulation between 500 to six, seven hundred micron. In average, we are using around what you are using, 300 mi micron coagulations at the end? Yeah, three Which to 400, sometimes 600. 600. It depends on what we're treating. Yeah, yeah the depth so, of it. So with six, 700, I expect around what, five, seven days downtime, uh, erythema, or Generally. less? Very good. Starts recovering. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's a little micro crust that um, you can see, very very minute, but easily covered with a bit of, um, you know, makeup or powder. Fantastic. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Tanya.